YouTube, this is Purses and More, and I'm back with another video. This is my latest unboxing, and I wanted to share it with you. So this one, I'm interested to see what it's like, because I don't have anything like this. So let's go ahead and get into the box. Now they had two different colors on sale on this one, and I decided that I wanted this one because it looks classic. The one that I thought of getting was not available and then the other one I didn't really think I liked the color too much. So let's go ahead and show you what's in this box. Let me just make sure that my invoice is not showing and it's not. So let's go ahead and show you what this is. I can show you. So this is, as you can see, a coach item. This box is rather substantial so let me go ahead and set this box aside and then i can show you what this is okay so i have my little coach card it says thank you for shopping at coach okay so it's already in the dust bag let me share with you hopefully it's wrapped i'm hoping so this is what this is here it's not really a big bag which is okay because i am liking these size bags Here's my receipt. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Hopefully it's wrapped really nicely. And here we go. You, you all can tell me what you think. So here we go. This is not what I ordered. I'm a little confused. Hmm. Wait. But this isn't what I expected this to be. I'm a little confused. I'm really confused. Wait. Hi YouTube. This is the second part of my video. As you notice in the very first part, that is not the bag that I ordered, and I was really confused. They sent me, I think it's called the Laura bag, and it was a pebble leather compartment bag. It had a middle compartment with a zipper that zipped down all the way on both sides. It had a front and back compartment, shoulder a shoulder strap, and handles. Now, when you see what's in this bag, you'll see why I was so confused and I didn't understand what had happened. The invoice was correct. The invoice reflected what I had ordered. For whatever reason, they put the wrong bag in the box and sent me it. So I made a phone call to coach.com and I was able to do an exchange. And it just so happened I went to my local store and I was going to have them send me the bag that I had originally ordered and lo and behold they actually had the bag in store which I was really surprised they only had one instead of having them ship it to me I went ahead and purchased it that is why it's in this bag here and I'm going to share with you what I was supposed to get if I can I will insert a picture of the bag they sent me Uh, and let's go ahead and share with you what it was supposed to be. And then you'll see uh, why I was so confused. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and share with you what I originally ordered. Okay, so here's the, there it is in the dust bag. All right, so this is what I ordered right here as you can see this is the coach tally bag and it is in a beautiful smooth black leather I do have it zippered I don't have anything inside the bag it's not stuff um, let me just share with you the outside of the bag here so this is in the black smooth leather 
it has the magnetic bit right here. Nice magnetic closure. It has a zippered top with the D-rings here. Here's what the side looks like. It has the nice coach hang tag. Here's the back. This is the floor model. However, I wasn't willing to wait. I wanted to get this one. Okay, so here's the bottom. Let me go ahead and share with you the straps that it came with. I'm gonna set the dust bag aside. I did look this over at the store prior to me purchasing or exchanging, uh, exchanging it. So I wanted to make sure that this was the one that I wanted. Okay, so go ahead and get into the bag. A nice zipper opening. And this end does tuck down in. I just have it up like that. So we take out both straps and I'll share with you the inside of the bag. All right, so when you open it up like this, that's the inside of the bag. It has one button closure pocket right here and they went ahead and put the tag right there for me. This snaps very nicely. It, is, it has like a microfiber fabric on the inside I don't know that that, I mean, it feels like suede. It could be suede. Uh, however, this here is a linen on that side of the pocket and it snaps really nicely. And it has the, the Coach Creed right there. Nice opening. And you don't have to zipper this. You can just kind of flap it over. And I don't think anything is coming out of that bag, to be quite honest. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you. I went ahead and grabbed a few things that... I would possibly put in this bag just to show you what would fit. Let me go ahead and show you the straps first. So it did come with this leather strap. It's a nice thick smooth leather, smooth black leather strap. I will say that this little keeper here is not connected and if I'm not careful, which I need to be careful, it slides right off of there. So I have to be very careful and not to lose that. Um, so if you do happen to get one of these bags, keep that in mind, okay? On the clasp here, it has the coach on the little round circle thing there. And these do open and close very nicely. There's only one keeper on this strap here. And then you have the other part there, the nice coach clasp. This one comes with a web strap as well. And let me show you this one. This one's not on sale. Uh, I didn't want to wait for it to be on sale. I didn't think they would put the black one on sale. I know that the red one, like the red orange one and the papaya are on sale. And I didn't want those colors because I already have my papaya in the Rogue. I do have a video on that. And I didn't really want the orange red one. So here is the strap, the webbing strap that comes with it. It has the nice clasp here. The smooth leather bits on the strap. This has the ivory looking or cream rather chain with the red orange going through the chain drawing on there. It has the keeper here and this keeper goes back and forth and the nice brass hardware and the other clip. This is what I was expecting when I opened the other bag. And so now you can only imagine what was going through my mind when I opened the other bag and saw pebble leather rather than smooth leather and a completely different shape of a bag when I was expecting this one here. All right, so let me go ahead and show you what uh, it looks like with a few items inside. So what I, had, I went ahead and grabbed a few things. Um, so I would need a wallet. So let me share with you the wallet that I chose for this bag. So this is the slim leather skinny wallet in the black. And I thought this would go really well with this bag. So let me go ahead and share with you what this wallet looks like. So you have a zipper opening right here. It opens up like that. It's still stuffed because it's brand new. That's where you can put your change or your uh, dollar bills or whatever you want in there for that matter and then you can open it up like this 
and it has all these card slots here with your ID window, a spot there, a spot there, and a spot there with all of the card slots there as well. I just thought this would look absolutely beautiful inside this purse. Uh, but here's the wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Grab this, no lead of 15, just because this is a narrow bag at the bottom and it kind of angles up on the sides. So I wanted to be a little bit minimalistic. I'm sure the 19 would fit in there, but here's a 15. It still has its stuffing inside there. Let me share with you what that looks like. So far, that's what that looks like. I do have a Nolita 19 in the red. Let me share with you what that looks like here in a minute. So I have this little key case here from Coach, and this is in the men's line. This is just a key holder, and I can put that in here. And then of course, my reading glasses and my sunglasses. So let me just share with you what that looks like. I have my sunglasses across the top. Let me take the sunglasses off so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Like I said, you have to keep in mind that the bottom of this bag is rather narrow. I could turn my Nolita 15 up on end like that because it's not as tall as the 19. And it gives me a little bit more space on the side there to put maybe my sunglasses, which I wouldn't put my sunglasses down inside there uh, like that because I'd be pulling them out to wear them. And I also have this pack of masks here. Let me just share with you what that looks like. There you go. That is everything that I would need for the day. And then let's zip it up and close the top. And that's what it looks like. And of course, I would have a strap on it. Uh, but let me go ahead and grab my Nolita 19 in the red. I went ahead and grabbed that while it was on sale. So let me go ahead and grab that and show you what that looks like on the inside versus the 15. Let me take the 15 out for the I minute. purchased the pencil case in the red as well because it was on sale for $20.40 and I couldn't pass it up. And this was on sale for $56. I wanted to go ahead and grab this one. Beautiful pop of red next to the black. And then let me go ahead and share with you this little pencil pouch, just in case for those of you that would be interested in putting this, if you wanted to get this bag, uh, you can see what that looks like. Okay, so here's the red pencil case. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like with the red. Let me just take out uh, those things. I am gonna leave my wallet in here, this long wallet. Of course, you can use a smaller wallet too. And this is still stuffed with the stuffing on the inside, but let's go ahead and see what this looks like inside. And also the pencil case. Now, see how that has a wider bottom than it does on the top? Uh, that might be an issue, especially since there's not a whole lot of room left. I have my wallet and the new Lita 19 in there right now. So it doesn't have a whole lot of space in there. Of course, with the stuffing on this one, this is really packed. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. It does fit like that. And if I were to, let's just see, let's just play a minute because it will still zip. So let's go ahead and put the reading glasses in because why not? And then keys. Of course, the keys uh, would be used for a vehicle and put that down. It's right there. And then let's go ahead and let's just put the masks in first and then the reading glasses and then my keys. And let me show you what this looks like. And then, of course, if I wanted to put my sunglasses on top. And I could also do that. I know it looks weird like that. I wouldn't have that in there. So this is what this looks like, just like that. And let's see if it zips. Yes, it does. And it doesn't look bad at all. And then, of course, we have the um, this like that. And then it's not really heavy 
at all. And that is really nice. It doesn't push out at all, as you can see. On the back, you'll notice right here, that's the button for the pocket. And then on the sides right here and here, can you see those little indents? That is where they have the pocket sewn. So if you don't like that, you may not like this bag because that does show right there. I would be concerned that rubbing. Uh, however, if you didn't pack it as full as I have it, it might not be a big deal. So let's go ahead and take the pencil pouch out. That's what it looks like, just like that. And there again, let's go ahead and close this up and close that up. And of course, you can still see the three indentations on the back, right there, right there, and right there. And that is that is the button it's on the pocket. Let me show you that. Um, because I did see that and I was wondering what is going on. So let me just share with you what that looks like. Let me just take everything out. Uh, and then I'll show you. Like I said, if you don't like that, then you may not like this bag. However, I still like the bag. Let me show you. So when you look at the inside, let me see if I can angle this. This part right here, see that leather bit right there? And then on the other side, there is a leather bit right there. And of course you have this button. Those are the three indentations you see on the back of the bag. This right here, this little indent, or this little uh, spot right here. Let's see if I can, can I get to where you can see it. That leather piece there, this leather piece here, and then the button. That's what you see back here. The button, this leather bit, and this leather bit. Now it might not be as prominent on the papaya color or the red color, but this, I will tell you that this leather is smooth, but it feels rather thin. Um, it's almost like they put just one, one layer of leather over top of the lining. So you're gonna have that indentation right there. And if you wear that against you, I would hope that, you know, it's not gonna, um, there's not gonna be a whole lot of movement back and forth as you walk. If, that's, if this is up against you and it's constantly rubbing, there might be some wear. So just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and put the wallet in for the minute. And say I wanted to carry the 19. Actually, let's just say I wanted to carry the 15 because I wouldn't carry that much. Um, and then some keys and masks. This is what I would carry. I do have a small, I think a 15 in the black, and then my sunglasses or my eyeglasses. Let me share with you what that looks like. I know I shared with you before what it looks like, however. I probably would carry it like this only because all of that is down closer to the bottom of the bag and away from these little, away from here. My contents, just, my contents stop right here. And then of course you've got the button and then the two little things. So nothing's pushing against that from the inside. But I think this is a very cute bag. So let me know in the comments down below whether you like this, whether the little indentations in the back would bother you, if you rather prefer the red orange or the papaya. As always, I hope you all have a good evening and thank you for sticking with me in this video. And I hope you all have a fantastic night and I will talk to you soon. Till next time. Bye.